There's an acting exercise that Sanford Meisner, the Meisner technique, invented where two actors get up on stage and they repeat basically a sentence or what the other person says. That's all they're allowed to do. So if I say, Gail, you've got a camera, you say, I've got a camera. Well, you'd say, Gail, I've got a camera. But what happens is it gets you out of your head and things get very emotional. So I thought, why don't I shoot a love story that way and it'll be very emotional. I won't even have to direct. It's such an interesting process that I thought a documentary about how this is being done would also be worthwhile. And uh, this is day one. I, Gail's behind the camera. I, I haven't met the sound man. This is Bill, the sound man. Bill? Hi. Gerald? Bill. Is Bill, you are, uh, Gail told me you're uh, an actor. <laughs> And, a, and you do sound, and you're an actor, right? Like, can you like cry, like not on cue, but almost uh, on cue? Uh, on, a, uh, on some days, yeah. Well, it wouldn't be bad if, during the documentary, if I do something that's moving, or if something happens in my life that's, if, if, if Gail turns to you and you're actually crying, <laughs> no, I mean, I'm serious. I mean, it could be really good. Yeah. I, I mean, that's just something between you and me. I mean, we'll cut this part out. Okay, Gail, you should probably get this because I'm interviewing applicants to be my assistant. Every great director needs an assistant. Is that your resume? Yeah, yes sir, it is. There you go. You speak five languages? Yes sir, uh, well six counting Croatian, but only conversationally. What makes you think you'd be a good assistant to me? Well, well in addition to my total commitment to the job, giving 110% and really being someone that's there for, the, for you, the client, in terms of my own availability, just all the time, like really whatever you need, I also have studied uh, massage, so I, I know I have Swedish, sports, uh, shiatsu, Russian, and of course, Greek. I, I don't, I should tell you, I don't really like the Greek, but you are the client, and it's something that I, I have had some bad experiences with. I should be able to get on my hands and knees and bark like a dog, if that's something you need me to do for you. Well, thanks very much, I guess. Oh. Uh, that's, that's good. That's, uh, I mean, it's a bit short, because okay, i got okay. a lot of people to talk to. I'm, I'm so basically, you will do anything, anytime, anywhere, all the time. Essentially, whatever you need, legal or, okay. or, or, or not, or really. And, and again, I mean, okay. the Greek is something that I'm not comfortable right. with, but I don't uh, mind, again. Right. Okay. So listen, thanks, thanks. So enjoy, your, enjoy your time here in America, OK? And okay. thanks again, OK? All right. I'll show myself out downstairs. Thank you. The education, the commitment, 24-7, all that feels like baggage. So today's affirmation is you have a slim, attractive body. And it's really important that I make eye contact with myself and I say, you have a slim, attractive body. You have a slim, attractive body and an angular, lean face. I started doing this when I got out of, like, a, a, about 10 years ago, and I got out of rehab. OK. That's Gail. I'm here with uh, my sponsor, because I'm in uh, recovery. And uh, I should say, before we start this, that it's extremely important to respect the traditions of recovery, which are that, you know, everybody stays anonymous. So I'm not going to refer to you by name, even if it slips out. And I'm not going to refer to my name, even though everybody knows it. And this woman was saying that every morning when she walk, wakes up in the morning about a life that's abundant, either at the side of her bed or in the shower, she stands up and she, she makes her hands go like a, like a Canadian goose, you know? Oh, yeah, and, you yeah, know, yeah, like yeah. When a Canadian goose wakes up in the morning oh, yeah. and its hands go up and its, uh, and, and its wings and it gets its wings up as far out as it can possibly be. And she stands there in the shower like this. <laughs> Hey, you know, I'm gonna like try that. Goes. And I'll tell you, when you do that, go ahead, do it. Uh -huh. yeah, uh -huh. Uh -huh. I mean, just stretch them out. Uh -huh. Doesn't it feel great? Canadian geese. It's like a Canadian yeah. goose. Hello. Gerald, hello. Hello, hi. Hello. Don't mind um, this, uh, Gail is, uh, we're, I'm documenting my entire life. And so, I'm, you know, no, everything goes in. Everything, even mm -hmm. shrink sessions. I mean, it has to be totally authentic because it's not going to be real if it uh, if we do it any other way. So, are is, you? Is this for broadcast? I I don't know. I don't know. Uh, uh, but do you you don't have a problem with it, do you? Do you think it's it's going to be fine? I don't know. 
I mean, the, the, the worst thing that's going to happen is you may have to do some reaction shots. No, actually, the worst thing that might happen is, is that you would ask me to sign a release, and I might possibly not do that. But let's not concentrate on that, shall we? Okay. Let's, um, ask, let's ask Gerald. Uh, now, Dr. Rasmussen referred you. Yes, and um, I'm really sorry to... Uh, first of all, thank you for seeing me, and I'm mm -hmm. sorry I disturbed you on your vacation. And um, I... He... He... I don't even know if I can go into why he won't see me anymore. There's perfectly, I mean, he told me it was okay for me to call him in the middle of the night, and I don't understand what, uh, what his issues are. I, th I was thinking this on the way over. It really began with a, a sense that I, every decision I make, was making was the wrong, I was making a series of bad choices. Oh, shit. Ha hang on, hang on for a second. Somebody's buzzing, okay? Fuck. This phone is so fucked. Hello? I'm just gonna buzz you in. Oh my god, she scared me. Come on in. I'm Gerald. I'm Gerald. Hello? Watch the light behind you. This is your resume? <laughs> I don't mean to laugh, but this is this is a blank sheet of paper. Okay, um, uh, I'll keep this. Um, are so are you, so you are so uh, you are. Uh, I don't know how to say this. I want I want to be politically correct. But you're deaf mute. Is that is that you? You don't hear and you don't. You, could, you don't speak and you don't hear, is that right? And you're, ava and you're available every day? I guess that's yes. If you have an assistant who can't speak or hear, how are they gonna, you know, take phone messages, for example? Yeah, but the most important thing is that I be comfortable with whoever I'm working with. I mean, that's the primo. And I have to be able to trust because there's some, you know, I have to be able to, to know. That's probably more important than answering phones or, or talking. I mean, you know, it's like, I mean, the fact is I have to be able to feel safe and I feel so safe. I mean, you're great. I don't know if, what, what your name is or who you are, but I, I think you're great. You look like a Mary. I, I, I mean, I, I think I'm just gonna call you Mary. Just a little point. Mm -hmm. Whenever possible, I look better from this angle <laughs> than I do from this angle. See? Everyone does. I know, including me. So, just to, you know, not that I have to look good. Dr. Chase. Hi, how are you? Good morning. Nice this to is meet you. Dr. Chase, Hi. my dentist. I've taken your x rays, they look, they look great. Um, are nice. you having a problem? You having any pain? No, no pain. No? So what brings you here today? Uh, an idea. An idea? Um, yeah, so ever since uh, they started documenting, I've been seeing myself a lot on camera, and uh -huh. I, I noticed that I'm kind of jowly. I, I kind of got a Peggy Lee thing happening down here, you know? Really? And it's kind of just puffy thing, you know? Okay. And I was wondering if you could just have, like, if you could just take out all my back teeth. Take out all your back teeth? Yeah, just remove them. Just start to yank them. This is purely for looks. I'm not asking for anything better. Yeah, but you need them to, to eat and, and to chew. Let me get you some money because I gotta. I don't care what it costs for this phone. If I don't have a decent phone, I can't function. This is no 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 no. I've got the, I got. Uh, uh, I don't know how to like with. Oh, you know what I'm gonna have to do? I'm gonna have to use a light switch. Sit. Okay, this is the uh, the last of my grant money from Canada, uh, the whole thing. And I'm, I need two things. One, I'm really bad with money, so I'm gonna need you to hold it. And just give me what I need when I need it for, you know, that. Because otherwise it'll all go. And secondly, um, Money 
for phone. Money, phone, purchase. I think she got that. I think you're fine. Here, take that. You can take it. Uh, t uh, take. You can take it. You can take it. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You can take it. Yes. Good. Come on. Come, Come on. on. Come on. Come on, Mary. Come on. Mary. It's okay, you know, I feel, because it's the first day, she's a bit nervous. I would, you know, there's gonna be a bit. Okay, see what I mean? I guess I'm getting that there's a bit of a delay. I don't know where you're gonna find a phone, but anything that works is my only request. Thank you. And um, a large latte would be great. When you have an assistant, it's like it's all part of the business. It's like you have to look like you've got an assistant, that you're hard to reach, that you know, you're in demand, that you have to go through a person. I like her. She's great. She's not going to be the cameraman for the love scenes. I'm going to get a cameraman. It's going to be great. I'm going to make it look good. You're going to look good. It's you. She's shooting the shooting? Shooting the shooting? She's shooting the making of the love story. Do you have a script? Yes, it's going to be totally scripted. I mean, I'm using the Meisner technique. Remember the class we took? We took Meisner, right? Well, I'm going to make it, that's going to keep it fresh, the, the repetition exercise, right? Right? But I got a great actress for you. We're going to, we're going to basically create a love story in one day. Right. Who's that? You and this girl. Yeah, who's that? Who's the girl? Um, I, I got somebody good. I do have some money this time. It's not going to be freebie, I promise you. And I'm going to throw in some theater tickets. I'm going to, on me, on me, anything you want to see. Okay. Uh, just, it's not going to be very much, you know? And I don't want to tax our friendship. I don't want to, like, you, I don't want, what I, most importantly, I don't want you doing anything you don't want to do. It's good? Yeah. You into it? Yeah, great. We're going to have fun, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> good. Hey. She's back. This, <laughs> this is my phone? Is this a phone? Oh my God. It is a phone. I love it. I don't know what to say. You know, you really understand me. This is the change. A dollar. There's got to be more, but. budget on the phone. I love you because you know why? I would never do this for myself. I wouldn't have the nerve. Oh my god. But you know what? We'll make it up somewhere else. We'll cut craft service or something. We'll just we'll make it up. I'm still getting paid, right? Yeah, we'll talk about that. And this is, I mean, who cares? It's just money. You have done Oh my God, look at that. That is amazing. And you know what's great is, you can't hear that, but that's Beethoven and it's public domain, so I don't have to worry about rights for music. Hello, 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 hello. Look, he loves me. It's been so long, you understand, don't you? See, dogs understand, don't you think? I bet you're a cat person. That's the kind of spontaneous thing I love, you know, in the, in the documentary part of my life, when the dog came up, you know? Uh -huh. Do we have to get some sort of dog release or something? I don't want to have to sit in some festival and have some dog owner screaming down the aisle saying, that's my dog. <laughs> Hello? Oh, it's the Lloyd Foundation. It's the Lloyd Foundation. Hello, Lloyd Foundation. Can you hold, please? The board will see you now. 
Hello. Thank you very much for seeing me. Hello. Uh, and uh, you're uh, uh, Gerald Alecki? Ale uh, no, it's, it, well, it's, yes, it's, it's pronounced Lequier. Gerald Lequier. What's, what's going on? Who are they? What, what is this? This is Gail, and uh, Gail's doing a documentary about my life. Just ignore her. Just, just pretend she's not here. I promise you I will not use your likeness in any way. Hello? Who's that? Uh, this is Mary, my, uh, my assistant. She comes with me wherever I go. She, if she doesn't, uh, he, if she, she's not responding to you because she doesn't hear, she doesn't speak. But she's an excellent assistant. Don't tell me she's on your payroll. Um, I, 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 she's working for me, but I wouldn't say she's on my payroll. Uh, if you're, are you uncomfortable with? Uh, yeah. You are with uncomfortable. Okay, uh, I, she can wait in the waiting room. Mary, come on, Mary. Mary, she really only listens to me. Up, up, up. All right, all right. Did you bring the script with you today? I did indeed. I did indeed. Uh, uh, wait a minute. What is she doing? Oh. What, what, what's oh. <laughs> Sorry. Mary? She sometimes does this because she can go through separation anxiety. When I, when we're separated, she'll just want to be, it's sort of like she's, it's sort of like pat, like a pat, a you know? Pat. And this is an assistant? Um, here's the script. Oh, this is the first part. This is, this goes, the second part. There you go. Thank you very much. I do think we were this expecting something a bit more substantial. That is an incredibly yeah. substantial script, I must say. I, I have to say I'm very, very proud of the ideas. It's one of the best things I've ever done. It's the first time I'm actually going to do something. Does it say cock? Uh, no, I don't think the word cock is there. No, I think it, it says cock. Oh, oh, no, 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 oh, that's Hitchcock. I refer to Hitchcock. Who's Hitchcock? Let me show you this because it will quell all of your concerns. You have been keeping receipts on what you've been doing so far. I keep, I keep, and Mary, we both keep receipts on everything. Can yes. I just, can I just pop this in? Is this Certainly. okay? Go ahead. So, yeah. It's so hot in here. Is it, I turn off the AC. Oh, oh, I should explain. Uh, we had to have, I, I, because, we're gonna do the, we were doing the documentary, we had the air conditioning turned off because there was a hissing noise. So I hope you don't mind, it's a little warm in here, but, because there was a hissing, it was for sound, Bill was concerned about sound, so. What is it? That is a water tower. Are we gonna see any actors? Not in this footage, but take a look, wait, 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 because I just want you to see that, see, closer, closer shot of it. I really like, now I don't have the rights to this particular water tower. I couldn't get the rights. But I'm gonna get the rights to shoot one very similar. A water tower is a very feminine image. It's a vessel, it holds water. Water, unconscious, you know, it's all about feminine. So I'm gonna have the actress standing in front of the water tower. Now you wanna know where's the guy? Well, I thought the guy Masculine image. I'm going to put him on the number three express train going south. And I think the man on the train and the girl, it's going to create a nice tension. Is there going to be nudity? Uh, nudity, like, well, you mean? Something's got to sell this film. And we all know that nudity sells. I mean, who's going to be nude? How about the guy? The guy. You, are you more interested in, do you have a preference? I just think that's more interesting, more, less, uh, you don't see that as much. Oh, you don't see, yeah, the guy, so you'd be more interested. I can't guarantee, uh, mm, I can guarantee you. I will get nudity from, I have really incredibly uh, sophisticated and uh, fearless actors, and so I will have no problem getting nudity. Why don't I demonstrate Meisner on you? Why don't I demonstrate what? Uh huh. All right. All right. Yes, go on. Uh, yes, go on. Okay, I see what you're doing. Uh, okay, I see what you're doing. So yeah. Repeat that back. 
I, okay, I see what you're doing. Okay, I see what you're doing. Okay, I see but, what you're but doing. How can you make okay. a plot go forward if you keep repeating? It goes forward on it uh, by its own. It, it it the movie makes this itself. Is this is ludicrous. No, are you an actor? Because you were doing that very very well. Are you okay. an actor? No, no. You understand what bankable means when it, in terms of filmmaking. Bankable. Bankable. We need to hear names. Bankable films. Actors. Recognizable names. Recognizable. That they can draw the people in to see this movie. Big names are no problem either. I can get big names. That's uh, not going to be an issue. I, 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 I guarantee you. I will have names that everyone who uh, goes to see the movie will go, oh, I know that person. I mean, do the men and the women actually meet? Does he get off the train? Uh, yes, they're going to meet. You know, and, and if they meet, I, I do want to say that the Lloyd Foundation, it's very important that about abortion, there should be nothing said that's either pro or anti-abortion. So uh, I don't know if she gets pregnant or something, but, but nothing about abortion. It's the early stages of the relationship. It's not at the abortion uh -huh. stage yet, so there won't be an issue there. I may have to shoot them separately. Like, I may have to do him on one day, her on another, but magic of editing. We can just cut, cut it together. The I, I, won't, I can't guarantee the eye lines will always meet, but uh, if I have to do that, because you know what, these are busy guys. As you know, we're the new board, and it's important to us that we... I like it. I think it's fun. Oh, well, <laughs> it's quite a compliment from Mr. Lloyd's granddaughter, so you... you I'm glad. A, a, Thank a you very much. On, Thank you. you like, did board. you like the water tower footage? I did. I did. did uh, isn't, nice. it, isn't it great? Mm -hmm. uh, anything particular about it that you liked? I, there was something very romantic about it. The water and, and the image of the woman, and, and it's just, it, it got me. It did. Yeah. I'm a woman. I don't know. <laughs> well, tell me, um, have you considered the issue of sexual abuse? Have I considered the issue of sexual well, abuse? Well, you know, I mean, we, we tried to do our homework. I read Variety. Um, I know that there was a film last year at Sundance that, that uh, garnered a great deal of attention, and there was some some um, sexual abuse in that. I believe it was a mother and a daughter. Um, I, I don't, well, they're both adults, uh, but uh, in, like a confrontation between, like that was That would there be great, uh, you know, at least some suggestion, don't you think? Absolutely. I mean, some sort of sh shock value, something that, you know, people are going to be walking out talking about. What, what we would like on the board is for you to come back very soon with some substantive footage that you have shot that, that tells a story a, as your grant application indicated you were going to. And, and we would like to see that soon. And, and if you don't have it soon, I, I'm sorry to say, we'll, we'll have to ask for the money back. Ask for the money back? You, you can do that? Is there anything else that you what need? What about the way I've heard that you've gotten money from Canadian foundations? Canadian I have, yes. Foundation. Part of the early funding of, for this project was from Canada. Yes, does that obligate you to get Canadian actors? It's, uh, yes. Boy, you guys have done your homework. And I will get Canadians. I will get nudity. I will get sexual abuse. I will get a big name. And I will get Canadians. And I'll, I'll get them in that order. Did that not go? It went well, right? I mean, they have a few requirements. But uh, I thought that was good. I mean, uh, I'm a little thrown by this sexual abuse thing. I was never abused. Oh, let me think. Maybe I was. Maybe. Oh, I wonder if that counts. It's OK to ask for help. Gerald, it's OK to ask for help. Yes, I, I'm trying to reach Diane Keaton. Yeah. No, 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 it's a better project uh, I'm directing that I, I want to. Yeah, we go back a long time. Like, I, 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 I met her once. Gallery rolling? Mm hmm Because uh -huh. I want to show you I got this book. It's sign language. Because I want to be a little bit more adept at communicating with Mary. Like, like look at this one. This means, this is going to be really important. This one means wide. Wide. Like, if I go, like, wide. And, oh, yeah, this one. Oh, yeah, here, look. Narrow. Narrow. So, like, let's be narrow, wide, 
narrow, wide. This is pay. Pay. You like that one, Bill? <laughs> That's it. That's all I'm going to do. That's all you're going to get from me today, Gail. Because I'm white, and I think we better wrap it up for today. Besides, Mary's tired. Well, I'm trying to reach Nathan Lane. Um, well, no, a friend of a friend was once uh, in a project with him, and I'm trying to get him the script because I think he'd be perfect for it. It's a love story set in New York. I think he's going to be perfect. Nathan Lane, Diane Keaton, about, it's two young lovers, but the name value alone, people will look past their age and they'll just say, yeah, they, they look young to me, don't you think? I'm trying to make a movie, and I, that's all I want to do is make a good you mean movie. this? No, no, I'm making a movie, I'm making a love story, and what I want the love story to be is everything I've never had in my life, in other words, Every uh, thing that I've not received in my personal life, I want to be in this movie. A happy ending, people who, when well, they I say hope, I love I, you. I, I hope your ending hasn't happened yet. No? I don't know. I mean, I, no, the ending hasn't happened yet, but it's not going well either. I mean, it's, it's just not going right. Uh, and, and let me give you an example. You're a filmmaker? I'm a filmmaker, yes, I'm a Profes filmmaker. Professionally? I say that I'm professional. Other people... Well, Joe, uh, what do you do? Uh, when I'm at home alone? No, how do you make a living? If, if, oh, if I make a living, a oh. I, you mean, how do I earn money? Mm -hmm. uh, I borrow a lot of money. I mean, is that, because that's not a living, right? And I don't, ha I don't really, I don't, I'm, bro I'm generally pretty broke. Today, yeah. I assume you'll be paying for the session. Dr. Rasmussen said that uh, that wouldn't be a problem. Yeah, you take a check, is a check okay? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. It'll be fine. Mm -hmm. It'll be fine. I, I may post date it. I'm friends with Anne Magnuson. She's an actress. She's been in a lot of movies. I mean, that should be no problem. But I don't know what they expect. I mean, they want big names. Well, it, if you if you need big names, I got a, my cousin Richie works at one of those uh, those lookalike talent agencies. And if you wanted big names, you could get like a lookalike. They're lookalikes. Yeah. Lookalike, like lookalikes. Like Mae West. Um, Mae West. James Dean. Charlie Chaplin, uh, Queen Elizabeth, I know. Well, on the first, like, she's the only living person. I mean, uh, all those are, those are dead. I, I think but that could be kind of neat. That could be neat, like a dead, like a Marilyn Monroe with a living actor, like a, a dead star with a living star. I think that could, that could create a nice tension with, like, death, yeah. life yeah. kind of thing. Right. Right? Like Humphrey Bogart and Hilary Swank. Charlie, Char Charlie Chaplin, he's dead, right? So he'd be dead, and then we could get a living star. Right, Like, right. Uh, like Mar Mary, what do you think of that? Like a living star, young actress, up and coming type thing, maybe Reese Witherspoon with a dead celebrity playing it, like Reese Witherspoon, James Dean. Who else died a horrible, oh, oh, I know who. Um, Jane Mansfield. That's not Jane Mansfield, not the, de no, yeah. not the decapitation, but, uh, Sal Mineo, oh, yeah. like Sal Mineo and Reese Witherspoon together <laughs> in a love story set in New York. That's it. One dead person, one love. Isn't that great? Like she, like I think this was actually Mary's idea because <laughs> I, 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 I woke up in the middle of the night and she was uh, sort of foraging for food in the kitchen. She, uh, she doesn't eat much, but... Um, I think Mary's, Mary's changed. She's come out of her shell a lot since she started working with me. We're ready. We wanted, I want to know a little bit of what, you know, what Dan the direction walks, is. Dan walks by. Can you walk this way? Yes, he can walk this way. Right, Are you okay with that? Can you walk both ways? Yeah, whatever. I can't believe this. It's not Anna Lisa. Did Mary, would, Mary didn't call you? No. Why? What's up? Because. Why? Why? Because Why? I decided Why? to go with somebody else. Why? Can't you see? I've, I've learned my Meisner technique. I've got all the wise. I've got. You, wait, you, you. I even watched a Godard film. You told me. You gave me this list. I gotta have a talk with Mary. I'm sorry about that. Yeah. Thank you so right. much for coming. Okay. It's quite awkward. Okay. 
by Gail and like I figured out a way to that I can communicate with Mary. Um, like it seems to work. W nine W nine W nine W nine nine. W nine nine nine. She's trying to tell me that life makes no sense. Uh, X. E X X X X lax X X yes excess. I'm living admit that, uh, that I'm too much excess in my life. No C D C D. You want to borrow C D. Two. You want to borrow two C Ds. Good. Right. Okay. Mary wants to borrow two CDs. This guy's the Al Pacino of, like, Canada. Is that... Is that, like, an insult? Well, I... I, I, I there is this first... I mean, I have this first script, but, I mean, all I've got written down is, like, Lothair walks by. Like, it's... This, this is your script, right? This is your script? It's, well, it's kind of an outline. It's more, more more of an outline, but but you just walk by, and it's gonna be very easy. It's 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 nothing. But I mean, I would understand it. Uh, what do you want to do this? Like in five years from now? This is your script. Write something, and then and then maybe you talk to my agent, and then maybe I'll read it. And you're like, this is this is weird. But I, I mean, mean I, you wouldn't be doing anything. You wouldn't be like. I mean, you just be you. I mean, I don't even need you to act. I, I, I just need you to just to Yeah, but you're know, like, listen, I'm, you, I cannot just like walk in your film. Um, you need a contract. You need, you need like a script first. You need to talk to, when you distribute this thing, this is my fucking image you're talking about. You, you, you want me to just come in and just play fun for you because you feel like it's, it's the right time. Yes. You're not even supposed to roll this. I'm not, I'm, I'm not waiving this. I'm not going to sag you on this. There's, there's not going to be a waiver on this thing. You cannot use this footage. You can't just come to people. You ring me. You say, I want to talk to you. I come down and I have a fucking camera on my face. Yeah, well, how, do, how would you feel? Gerald, there's Man. some problems with some of the footage. Uh, some of the stuff is really bleached out, and I, I think we should reshoot. No. Some of the stuff with Mary, it's, it's like completely white. You can't even make out her features. Mary's too, what, Mary's too hot, like there's too much light on her? Yeah. And she's bleached out? Mm -hmm. Don't reshoot that. That's gold. That's her natural light. That's like a light leak from a camera. You, that's the stuff you can't recreate. You can't pay for that kind of documentary stuff. If it looks bad, it looks great, right? Because you're doing a documentary. So if it looked too uh, perfect, that would mean that my life is perfect. And we got to get the naturalness of life that, uh, that life isn't. Sometimes, yeah, there's too much light. Sometimes there's noise. Sometimes a phone will ring. Sometimes, and you're, you got to be there because when that magic happens, the documentary, you're, this is what's going to make your documentary great. Yeah, the, I think the, the Meisner thing, the point of it. Sorry, I'm doing, I'm doing a documentary about the making of the Meisner. <laughs> and you're speaking awfully softly. The Meisner what? What are you saying? It's okay, it's right. Let's just, no, no, the, no. I think the highs are good. You are lying to me. Take a chance. Tell me what you're going to say. <clears throat> Oh, I wish I didn't use that word. Gerald. I know you have a thing. But you know what's wrong? Is that you don't look like you even want to meet her. Gerald. You look like you want to kill me. Keep it simple. 
Keep it simple. I've got another actress coming in to play her for the heavier stuff. Yeah, now I've got another, like I'm gonna substitute actresses when it gets heavy, because I know it's gonna get, she's a little young. I mean, I'm, that's what's going on, admit it. Keep things simple. That was great. Now the stuff this afternoon mm -hmm. is getting, it's a little hot and heavy. Okay. And I was thinking, cause how old are you? Like you said you're 20, right? Yeah, well, I feel I should be honest. You, what do you mean? Well, like you're not 20? No, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm legal, okay? But I'm... What do you mean you're legal? I'm going to be 19 in two weeks. You are 18 years old? <laughs> well, I mean, you I You said you were 20. I okay. said I can play 20. I can play 20. Well, I was... You know what? If it's okay with you, I've got an older actress who's going to sort of take over in your role. I mean, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna like cut. Like a body double or like a No, 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 another actress who's a bit older and it'll be better between the, the two because you're 18, Catherine. I can't, I don't want your father running down the aisle while I'm sitting at a festival saying, that's my daughter, I don't want that. Oh, no, he's not, he's not. Well, we could work it into the scene. You could work it into the scene. Conceivably. Like how? How do we work that into the scene? Well, I could tell him. I could say, I mean, if we don't hide it, if we don't pretend that I'm older, if yeah. we, you like know, what? if you're aware that I'm younger, well, if I said, like what I said to you, if I said I'm legal. You mean repeat, I'm legal? Right, yeah. Let me try that. Let's just try yeah, that. Great. Try that. Just try that. Try that. Try that. Try, <laughs> try repeating. Just It'll say work. That. It'll work. I'm, all right. Like, okay, just do that. Yeah. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, sorry. Sorry, yeah. Yeah, okay. I'm legal. Just repeat. Repeat, I'm legal? Yeah. I'm legal. No, no, no. You're not legal. She's legal. Say, you're legal. You're legal. I'm legal. You're legal. What the fuck are we doing? Just repeat, Dan. Trust me. I'm legal. You're le what the fuck are we doing? Um, it was great to meet you. Nice meeting you. You were really good. Thank you. In that part. <laughs> and um, how are you getting home? Walking. Are you going to be okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. Okay. We might need the book for continuity. Are you in the middle of reading that book? Yeah. Okay. I, I can lend it to you. Just for the afternoon? Sure. Okay, because don't, we don't have any money for props. That's okay. So the next actor should be reading this. Okay. How can I get it back? Um, I'll drop it by at f uh, 5 o'clock. If you can give Mary, my assistant, yeah. the address. Okay. Yeah. Thank she you. probably will get it wrong, but it's okay. I have your... Okay. Okay, good. Okay, All right, thanks. thanks. Bye, Catherine. Bye, bye. Bye. Everybody say bye to Catherine. Bye, bye Catherine. Bye. Bye. Um, where's Dana? So remember that the foundation wants me to get some big names for the film, and uh, this is uh, Anne Magnuson. She's, she's an actress and a friend of mine. She's been in lots of great films, and basically this will be, you know, a piece of cake. Anne? Oh. Hey, Anne, it's Gerald. Uh, Gerald, Barry. Gerald, Gerald Lequier. I sent you a script. When did you send it? Oh, gosh, Mary must have sent it, uh, mm, oh, gosh, a week ago. What are you doing? Some short? No, it's a feature length, The Love Story. This is a feature. It's a feature, yeah, right there. If you but look just, carefully. There's just like a couple of words written down. Is one of those words high? So yeah, and did you see did you see the scene in the supermarket? I thought you'd like. Uh, wait a minute, let me see it's in the other. Uh, yeah, it's on the other envelope. Uh, the supermarket. Went to the supermarket to pick up a few. I can't read this. She picks it? up a few things from the supermarket. Nude? What? Nude? I can read that. N U D E. Dana. Hi. Have you met Dan? Yeah. Yeah. I don't. We were able to. Um, you're gonna now substitute the part. Now I know you're worried. Dan about cutting, but most audiences now are so sophisticated that they will, they don't care if two, three, four, five actresses play the same role. They're going to go with it. And besides, what was that movie where two actresses did play the same part? What was that? No idea. Can we say more than just high? I want you to really hold the high, and you're going to feel a moment. Well, pretty quickly. Yeah. 
kind of, yeah, because that'll give you something to take off when he says, hi, you'll have to yell hi, hi. then. Because she'll have headphones. You have to do it. Hi! Because she'll have headphones on. Hi! <laughs> That's my assistant, Mary. Hey, you know what? Mary just walked into the scene. I like it. Do you think you guys could talk over her? I brought the kitten home, and I would be lying in bed, or I'd be on the phone, and the kitten was male, and it was dominant, and it was like tearing apart, you know, just like going up and down and, uh, the apartment. And I would be on the phone, I'd look up, and it'd be hanging upside down from the curtains. And then it would, I would look over, and it would be like, pull, it pulled the kitchen drawers out, and it was climbing the drawers, and there was a pot of boiling water on the stove. And then I'd be, on, I'd be looking down, and he'd be chewing the phone wire. <laughs> And this thing was supposed to calm me down. I thought it, be, I thought it would bring me love in my life. And in the, in, in the end, it, it, it was, I was practically hospitalized for anxiety because of this cat, and I had to give it back. And it was just so delusional of me because I thought the cat, I, it was delusional. I thought a cat, a pet, I would finally get some love. Well, if, I, I wouldn't say delusional. I would say a lot of people have pets. Yeah. They could calm you down. Yeah. A kitten... If you would ask me, I wouldn't necessarily think that a young cat would be a calming influence. You no? Know? I wouldn't imagine. Why For all anybody, the reasons that you're saying. Why says, wouldn't anybody tell me that a kitten was well, a... Well, that's interesting. Why would you expect... Who would tell you this? Uh, Gerald, who, who would tell you this? Um, well, I just would have thought that when I said I was getting a kitten, some people would say, watch out because your life is going to become hell. But this may be, and I'm shooting from the hip, yeah. what else do we have? Yeah. You know? um, this interest that you have in what other people mm. are thinking mm. about mm. you, mm -hmm. this idea that mm -hmm. it is the responsibility of people around you who, I don't even know who those people are, mm -hmm. uh, but that you think that perhaps it's up to other people to guide you, to steer you, Maybe one of the core reasons that you're in this, what I would describe as something of a state of anxiety. Mm -hmm. um, in fact, I suppose a kitten, even a lively kitten, even a kitten who destroyed your apartment could be viewed as a calming influence. You might have thought it was funny. You know, you might have right. gotten through the phase with this kitten to the next phase where the kitten bonded with you, say. Um, you know, it's uh, funny, because when it was meowing, because <clears throat> I, kept, I kept hearing in the meows, I don't want to be here. Like, meow, why did you pick me? Like, I could swear he was talking to me. Mm -hmm. well, it was like, why, yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't love you. you, you you're too needy. In the meows, I could hear it. Mm -hmm. Can you go home and I'm waiting for a call from the Lloyd Foundation? If you can wait for that call. But it's, we've had, like, that's it for today. Okay? And this is the one, because I do believe that the more you tell yourself these things, the more I can make it happen, the more I can internalize it. So you can make a good movie. You can make a fucking good movie. Gerald gets people to do things for him yeah. before he's figured out what that thing actually is. In, in all his life, not just with like this kind of thing. Yeah, and then they do it however they do it, and he accepts that that's the way he intended it to be and takes credit for it. Uh, but but uh, he had no idea in the first place. Okay, that makes me feel a little manipulated. Well, of course, so does everybody. I wish we were, this is like Gail and Gerald, not Gail and Gerald. This is Gail and Gerald, not Gail and Gerald. 
they gonna grab uh, her? <laughs> what is what is this, Gerald? Is this Gail and Gerald? Or is this Gail and Gerald? <laughs> Terror? Hung up. I really shouldn't be saying this for Gail, but we made an agreement that I would say anything and I wouldn't hold back. But a friend of mine died. You know, he, he killed himself. And all I could during, think... During the filming? Just prior. And my first thought was me. Not him. Me. How can I use this? How, how might this affect my production? I didn't, you know, and I think that essentially I am a bad person. Mm -hmm. And if you could just say, because <clears throat> I'm, I don't even know if you'll continue seeing me, but even today, if you could just say, Gerald, you are a good person. You are a fa fabulous person, you are worthy. You, if you could say that to me, it would probably be the most help I could get. It would probably be like, really? that would help. That would help if you could just say, Gerald, you are a good person. Well, it is interesting, isn't it? No, no, I'm not, I'm not, I, what, what's interesting? Well, the cat story, Gerald, what were you looking for Love. In, you know, when you, in, in your description of the cat event. Yes. I believe that what you were saying is, gee, why didn't somebody else tell me not to get the kitten? Why did they let this happen to me? Oh. So I, I'm suggesting it's interesting that you have some idea that I could say something, whatever it would be, that might plug the hole so to speak. You won't do that? You won't say, Oh, Gerald? I have no idea. I, I like barely you? met you. I don't even know you. I have no idea what your pathology really is, although I'm suspecting it's fairly benign. Um, but what I find interesting, well, What's so hard about saying, Gerald, you're a good... I mean, is that a difficult thing? I mean, is it like, Gerald, you're a good person? You, don't, you, won't, you won't do that. Hey. Hey. We're in here. Uh, you're not gonna believe this, but Mary and I have been up all night. We've been working on the script, and we've come up with a brilliant solution to the problem. To you, you guys have been working on the script. Yeah, we've been working all night, all night. She's Mary's great. Mary is great for this kind of stuff. You know, Gerald, I gotta talk to you about this Mary thing. Uh, I don't think it's working out. You don't think it's working out for me and Mary? Yeah. Why? Well, first of all, she can't hear. Yeah. So she doesn't speak. All right. Is that everything that you need to do? I mean, in life, I don't know. I mean, to me, uh, we're, I'll tell you what you can do. We're problem solving, and that's what's important. And let me tell you why. This script, I am like, this is the biggest breakthrough I've ever had. I only had a short, and in one night, I found a way to make it feature length because I'm not going to get a major name with a short script. I'm, they all, they're all requesting feature length scripts. But I went back, and we looked at the dialogue, and some of the dialogue just needed some beefing up. So, and, and listen to this. Tell me why. You know you should. I don't want to. I don't want to, but I told you. Why? I don't know. I don't know either. You don't know? I don't at all. Why? I told you. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. No. Yes. You didn't. I did. Didn't. Did. Didn't. Did. Didn't. Did. No. Yes. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. How could you? Why? I don't know. Yes, you do. I really don't. Yes. No. Yes. No. Are you sure? Yes. No, you're not. I said yes. You did? I think so. No. Yes. No. Yes. Hey, have either of you seen my sweater? Hey, have either of you seen my sweater? Punch, end. Perfect. And that was like all that was before was yes, no. And look what I made of it, like in one night, thanks to Mary. So, she stayed. Gerald, that doesn't make any sense. What doesn't make any sense? What you wrote. 
it makes total sense. They're having a complete and total alive discussion. It's totally alive. And this, this is the, it's, it's in the simplicity. It's a kind of a minimal, minimalist thing. And it's, it's going to be so great because it's people who make the dialogue come to life. It's not the dialogue that makes the people come to life. You want to you wanna come up? Gerald, how are you going to get the actors to take off their clothes? Well, Dan, no problem, because I can get him definitely down to his boxers. That's going to be easy. I'll wait for a moment. That's going to have to be in the moment. I'll have to decide where where would be a good place for him to be in his boxers. He'll, he'll do that. And then from there, getting him nude will just be like a stone's throw. Hey. Mary. This is my, what happened to my iced coffee? Like this is supposed to be full. Like when, you, when, I, say, when I ask for iced coffee, this should be all brown, not see-through. How are you doing? How are you doing? You know him? Mm -mm. You know him? I'll go up. Okay. That was great. Cut. That was great. That was great. Dan. Um, Bill, you wanted it. That's okay. We're going to do one more thing. All right. Can I, can I just ask you? Just, I'll be a second. That was great with the guy. Very real. You know what? It's just a sort of a shot of just going in the door. Right. It'll be really great. Just think about it for a second. Would you be, could you do it in your boxers? <laughs> like, just like if you took off your pants? No, I'm serious. I'm serious. Just think about it for a second, because everything else is predictable. Everything else is sure, like. Tell me this is a joke. I'm not kidding. I am not kidding. If you just took off your, if you just did it in your boxers, it would be like at the, mo everyone will say, everyone my will say. And my shoes? Yeah. It'll be great, because everyone will say, how, why is he in his boxers? And it'll put the right spin on it, because right now, all we got is a shot of you going in the door. It's boring. But if you were in your boxers, magic. No? No. No? Are you, are you serious? I'm serious. This is Gerald talking to Dan, not a director talking how, to him. And how did I get my pants off? At what point did that happen? What? You're, this is great. This is really going to put, because it's what not, are you about? I'm just thinking he should do it in his boxers. Do what in his boxers? Come in down the street. When do you take the pants off? I'm just wondering. Yeah, I'm just wondering that too. Just Somewhere wondering. in between the last scene and now, you would have removed them. <laughs> but no, but you guys are. You're don't... so not serious. You're no. So, you're not. Why, why, would I, why wouldn't I be serious? It, it, think about it. Yeah, we thought about it. It took about 12 seconds. We thought about well, it. If you think about no. it, if you did it in your no. boxers. No, how's no? So, oh my god. I don't want this to be awkward. Okay, but I must just do it with my pants on. Fucking crazy. It was just a thought. Do you want to do it again, or are we doing it again so I can uh, do it without my pants on? Let's do it with your. It's not working for you, is it? Ah. Okay, let's just do it one more time. With your pants on. Yeah, we'll do it with your pants on. It's okay. It'll still work. Let's go back. Position one, Mario. He's gonna do it with his pants on. I got actors who won't take chances. So you're so you're primarily model and you're starting to get into acting. Yes. Oh, you're, well, you're excited by just my saying. I'm that. very excited. What's this? Can oh, I just... It's just a little thing that I That's did. That's you. That looks great. Oh, thank you very wow. much. <laughs> okay, and I'll take a look at your book. Oh, now who's he? Oh, he's just a model. Yeah, but who? Now, we wouldn't necessarily have to actually shoot you in the tub. You'd be in the tub, you'd read the scene, we'd be outside, and we'd, oh, we'd really? shoot the bathroom door, and the audience would just sort of like say, okay, I would say she's in the bathroom. <laughs> That's good, right? So you could be like you know, wearing a parka inside the bathroom. So actually, I don't need to be in the tub. Well, I think the sound for sound, Bill, but don't, we're going to need like splashing sound and little ducky sounds. And no. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. <laughs> Why are you uncomfortable? 
Um, it's just a little bit weird, but, you know, because I'm the top. But your character takes baths, right? Yeah. Did you want your character I, to be? I don't know. I'm just confused. I, I, I don't even know why I'm doing this. But confusing this. is part of it because confusing makes you more real. You'll be more real. If you're confused, the audience will say, hey, I sometimes get confused. You so she's confused. I'm confused. They'll bond. I'm just going to leave, okay? You are. Okay, well, when you're ready, you come out. I'll be in the back. I'll be in the lip. I'll be somewhere. Would you see me again? Because well, I, I'm having a hard time distinguishing. I'm having a hard time telling the difference between my life and my film and my decisions and my behaviors and everything's getting blurry. Like, I can't. Everything's kind of getting, like, I don't, sometimes I don't know what's true especially when I promise to pay somebody back. Like, I say, I'll pay you back. And I'll say, I'm going to have a check for that. And I believe it. And I don't, and then it, it's, they never get paid back. Things like that, like where I used to believe it now, and everything's getting, like, like I don't know if Gail's, Gail's here and we're shooting this. Do you understand? But I don't even know why. You, you don't think I can use this documentary about my making the movie in any way in the movie? It's not going to fit together. Why not? It's, I mean, it's stuff. Why won't it fit together? Because you're making the movie. Yeah, I'm making the movie. It's a love story, right? Right. But and Dan and I are friends off camera. Yeah, but you the two can't go together. They're, it's not going to work out. You can't put the two together. They're separate. We're all the same, you understand. Your issues, as far as I can glean, may be more persistent and more pervasive. But every single one of us wakes up in the morning the way you do. What's real? What am I feeling? Where do I go? What happens? The difference for somebody with perhaps a greater ability to focus on any one of those issues might be a feeling of connection to that issue. Well, it's funny you mention that because I'm very comfortable with you and I, I don't know if this is premature transference. This is our shoe sponsor, Simple Shoes, and I just wanted to get, because they're gonna... Now, I, I would be very blunt with you, I would be I, I would only consider any entering into a continuing therapeutic relationship uh, if I knew a little bit more where the money was coming from. It makes me a little ang well, uh, I, I would have some concerns based on what you've told me uh, that you would be able to pay your bills since I can't see anything that you've said that has anything to do with earning money. We might have um, a sponsor for the film and they the are film. the well. This is not the film. We got a, a sponsor. A is shoe. This the, the love story. We have a sponsor, a, sh a shoe company. Mm -hmm. So I can get you any shoes you want, like unlimited. <clears throat> would that would that help? You should say the, the name of the shoe company. Simple shoes. Simple shoes. I love simple shoes. I happen to have simple shoes. Well, would you like? Because I, I can get you simple shoes. No. No, I can't pay you in shoes. No, it's a good company. But I'm kind of surprised they're. Interested in is your Why movie would you have be surprised? Does your movie have shoes in it? Bill, this is payment for just take that. That's payment for the second shooting day, because I owe you for the second day. Uh, Mary I owe Mary oh god, I owe Mary a week. You know, one of the things that they wanted me to get, the foundation and you were there, was that they want me to get big names for the film. Good. Yeah. Who did you get? Uh, we well, I'm working on getting Diane Keaton. And Who is Diane Keaton? Diane Keaton, she's, the, the, she's an actress. You know, uh, Annie is Hall. Is she a big actress? She, she's uh, popular? Yeah, she, but yeah she's, she's Annie, you're Annie Hall. A different actress. You know, we're also going for Nathan Lane. Nathan Lane. Who I think is she be, good? No, Nathan's a guy. He's in the producers. Of this show. Okay. The producers is a Broadway show. It's a Broadway hit. He's not, 
You don't know. You're not familiar with Nathan Lane. I don't. You're not, you're not watch sure? Broadway hits. You don't watch Broadway hits. Okay. Well, I'll tell you. I'm also trying for Anne Magnuson. Anne. Okay, I think I know that name. Yeah. Anne. You like Anne? Anne. Well, get this. Watch. I mean, okay. If you know Anne. Yeah. We put her picture Are up like okay? this. Oh, See. Me. She's explaining a dream. What dream? Then you cut to me. You were in a theme park. Me? Then you show a picture of her. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this whole thing with, like, me. Back and forth. Back and forth. Like, honest to God, do you really need to see the people, the actors, lips moving? The up and down. Up and down? Thing is, is a little distracting. And we can make the picture pop on. It wouldn't be my hand. Oh, I know what you're. I have the problem. You're worried about my hand. Are you worried about my hand coming up? I. I don't know that it works. You I, like the water towers. That I did. Is she going to be at the water towers? That is the most brilliant suggestion I've ever heard. And not just. Maybe not just the picture. When you're wrong, promptly admit it. Promptly. Where's your uncle's office? Uh, if I remember right, it was right behind the left-hand flag, the window that you basically can't see. And uh, he's a furrier, uh, you know, fur coats and stuff. Uncle Ken. Are you OK? Not really, because I feel a little guilty. My uncle, you know, I'm not, I make it, this is all, all made up because my uncle was actually a nice guy. This actually technically really never happened. I, he was a sweet guy. I liked him and, but I, this is gonna, I think, work. And the Lloyd Foundation needs, if they want this, I'm gonna do it. Okay. I mean, I'm gonna do it. Oh my God, this is so different, man. This is different. How may I help you? Oh, this used, I think this is my, this is not a furrier. This used to be my uncle Ken's office. I think it's so. You guys are. This is something else now. I my uncle Ken used to work here. He was a furrier. I'm shooting a documentary about my life, and um, I had this idea that I wanted to um, do with my uncle, and um, we might still be able to do it. You know, actually, we might still be able to do it. Phil, um, can I just give you a note? Um, this might get, this is a perfect moment. It might get emotional. Um, so when I talk to you about the tears, like, this could be a great time for you to cry when I do this scene. I think we can still do it here. Let me just, uh, hello. My name's Gerald. Um, my uncle Ken actually used to work out of here. I'm Gerald. Hi. Hi. Um, how did you, how'd you get up there? Oh, we just got, we, we, we just cleared through security because I used to come here a lot more often when, uh... Did you see him come in? Did you? Yeah, no. You let him in? You... Let me, let me explain. Yeah. I'm Gerald. Yeah. This, or I'm doing the documentary about my life and everything. Hi. Hi, hey guys. Um, and my uncle, I was going to do a scene here with my uncle. Um, I've got m money from this Lloyd Foundation and, uh, they wanted me to do, um, uh, well, there's something they wanted me to do and I, and I was going to do it with my uncle Ken, but... If you, if, I don't know if you've ever acted, but you'd be perfect. You'd, you'd be perfect. I've never acted, no, except in high school once I acted. But you really? Yes. yes. You've never acted? Except for in high school. That's actually better, because what I'm really looking for is a moment, you know? Like, I'm looking for real reaction, and right? a camera person and a sound person? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're doing this all, you know, it's all just go, and you know what? How did you get through security? How did they let you? No, it's okay. I used to come here, so it was okay. Yeah, but your it, uncle Ken? Who's yes, uncle? he was a furrier, and he used to work here. But let, a furrier? Yeah. You made coats, but let me, pelts yeah. and coats? Yeah, pelts and coats. Let me let me just do the scene with with you. I'll just do it with you, and and uh, and and after you know, 
Okay, but why not? Just it'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Let me just start. Let me just do it. Okay. Let me let me just let me just start it. A scene for what though? It's a scene for my movie, and the Lloyd Foundation gave me money, and they requested this scene. But you'll be perfect. Afterwards, we'll talk. Okay. Stay right there. Stay right there. Are you rolling? Wait, who's the Lloyd Foundation? They're the ones who gave me the money. Then who are you? Gail, let's do a take. Let's do a take. Can I just say that I'm not your uncle Ken, so I really don't. Am I supposed to act like I'm your uncle Ken? Yeah, act like, yeah, go ahead. Act, okay, you're, you're, you're I'll make believe Ken. I'm Uncle Ken. Yeah, you're okay. Uncle Ken. All right, start over. Okay, so I just want to discuss what, what happened at those picnics. Uh, you know, the inappropriate uh, touching that went on between you and me. Uh, uh, I wasn't at those picnics. You were at those picnics. I was not only, yeah, I'll tell you, you what, were, not only was I not at those picnics, I'm not your Uncle Ken. How was that? I don't want to play this game anymore. Um... I, I really think you're in denial. Oh, I'm not in denial. I yes, think you, you are. I think you're in trouble. No, I think, think I think you're in denial. I, I think, think you're in denial about the appropriate touching. If you don't, and I, the, think, I think. You're I think. Wait a minute. Wait I'm a minute. speaking. About the, I am about speaking. The, the, remember? I am speaking. With the birdie. With I the, think. You made me touch the birdie I think all that. if you don't leave the office right now, this is going to be a bit of a problem. I, want, I think that? we need to talk about the, uh, the inappropriate touching. I think that, that you, you and your camera person and your sound person and anybody else that you've brought up here are going to leave right now, or I will call the security, I will call the police, I will have you ejected forcibly. Is that this what is, we have to do? This is a normal reaction from somebody. No, it's a normal reaction. When they first hear about this kind of abuse, and I understand I you, don't even know who it. the hell you are. No, but I do Excuse think... Excuse me, call it, and what's the problem? There are this these, man, these filmmakers came up here. They just thirty years ago. They just cruise into this office. I haven't slept. When we were on picnics, would and touch he, me inappropriately. He would make me ride on his knee. He would make me touch the birdie. I've never seen this person in my life. He would play the, like who, a magician. Are, and he would get a you? top hat out and he would say, "In here's a birdie," but there was never a birdie. Let, let me, Do you understand just, what I'm trying to let say? Me just, who are you? Let me just get on the phone. I'm Gerald. Let me I'm just Gerald. Get on the phone with oh. This is no. This oh. is the kind of thing that happens. And it's important. You're that really for disrupting my though this whole office. I mean, we have things to do here. And uh, are we getting all this, Gail? Because this is this is you know what I came for. Um, this is the kind of thing that happens when you. Yeah. Do you have security? Yeah. Um, there are these these filmmakers who came up to uh, the seventh floor. That's right. That's in my office. This is uh, this is speaking. totally. Um, I don't know why you left them up here. Could you? It's denial. What's happening is that you just want to erase the past. You want to I erase want to you because you have no business being here. I don't know who the hell you are. I don't know what the hell you're you talking about. You want to erase and the I want past. you out of here right you're now. You're pretending you understand? that this never I'm happened. Not telling you anything. I'm you're not telling pretending. You anything. I want you out of this office right now. The security people I are coming to take you and your camera person, and your sound person, and your director, and your producer, whoever the hell you have, and get out of here right I'm now. Right now. Get out. Now, get out. Do I have to be any clearer than that? You'll all hear from my attorney. You'll all hear from the police. You are in serious trouble. We're going to hear from your attorney? That's correct. Why will I hear from your attorney? That's correct. For harassing. Why, why, why will I hear from uh, your attorney? Me, I am not yes. sure. Why? Like, that was good. That worked. That was gold. I mean, his face, it was exactly like... You know, that's exactly what I needed. Like, I, you know, it, I wasn't there. I'm not your uncle. You got Bill crying, right? You got, did you get Bill crying? No. No. You got Bill, no, I saw you pan over. You, you were you, yes. were you crying, Bill? No. You didn't cry? No. I could swear you were crying. <laughs> well, no. I need you, I need him crying. Oh, come on. No, no, it's going to add, the, it has to be because the, the whole subject matter is really, no, this is like a sensitive issue. You have to be crying. You, it's, Wait a minute, we have to do it's this. Stupid. Gail. Yeah. We have to do it again. We have to do it again. Oh, we can. No, we can do it again. No, that's fine. He was great. Hello. Hi. You were so You were so good. You were great. You were so good. You were so I, 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 I just got to tell you something. I just got to tell you. Tell we you had a little technical problem. I'll bet you we had a I mean, you had more no, technical no, problems. Hang on, hear, hear me out. Hear me out. He he, we had a, he he was supposed to be crying during the scene. If you could do it one more time. I'm going to count to three. If we, we can do if it one more time. you're not out of here by the time I count to three. Just do it one more you time. You are going to get yourself arrested. I've already called the security people. I'm surprised they're not here yet. They will be here. Are okay? you sure you don't? What is, what, is, what is your name? Gerald. Yeah, what is your last name, Gerald? What, what is, is my last name? That's correct. What is your full name? What so is my full name? I report you to the police. That is my goal. You so want to report me to the police? That is correct. 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 So what is your last name? What is my last name? 
This is not Evan Costello. We're this not doing who's on first. We're not doing who's on first? Right, get out of here. Get, get out, out of here right now. Get out of here right now. Do I have to? I don't want to touch you. So we're going to have to bring a suit. Really, you're going to have to bring a suit. I mean, I'm an attorney. Absolutely. You're an attorney. And I'm going to have an attorney. You're going to have an attorney. That's correct. So you're going to be in correct. serious trouble. I'm going to be in serious trouble. That's correct. I, that's correct. So get out of here right now. Let me help yeah. you with the let's, door because that may be a problem yeah. for you. All right. Get out. You are in big trouble. You out Five. too. You sound man. Get out of here. Please don't come back. I don't get that. Why wouldn't he do it again? Why wouldn't he? I don't get why he wouldn't do it again. Bill, what's your problem? This was ridiculous. What was ridiculous about it? We're, we're going to get sued. You're, uh, why are we going to get sued? Because you accused a man of sexual abuse, and, he, and he's a lawyer. And, you, and, he, and he doesn't even know you. What's wrong with that? Oh, boy, you're bananas. I'm you're not bananas. A, if it's real, it works, right? Well, it, yeah, if it's real, and it's not real. It wasn't real. Yes, it was he real. He wasn't your uncle. Did you see the look on his face? That was total, exactly what somebody in denial would do. It's okay to be mean. It's all right to be mean if you get the shot. I was looking at the footage with Gail, and uh, like a lot of the shots, you could see the boom. Yeah. You could see the microphone in the shot. Perfect. The that's, per that's perfect. Perfect. You see the boom in the shot. You're telling me that... You yeah, see, the boom, you could see the microphone in, in, it, the, in the, the shot. In the documentary. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's perfect, because it's going to look more real, and we want boom in shot, right? It's going to look no, like... No, the idea is to have the boom out of the shot, out of the frame. Why? It, it, we should have been framing the boom out. Why? Like, someone could have told me that the boom is in, and I could raise it. Why? Because it looks unprofessional. It looks bad. It looks like a, a, no, a retard it, sound guy is putting the mic in the shot. You know, I time. really wish you wouldn't use the word retard because it's politically incorrect, first of all. Retarded people. We're supposed to say, say, say it looks like a mentally challenged situation. Okay, it looks like, the, uh, it looks like a mentally challenged sound guy is doing sound for your movie. Well, right? maybe you are, you know, I mean, it, 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 so if it's if it mentally challenged, I can use that to get more money. Like I can, like if you're mentally, if you play, why don't you play mentally challenged and I can get some grant, isn't there some sponsorship? No one's gonna hire me after seeing this film, uh -huh. thinking I'm either, you know, a mentally challenged right. or that, but you Don't say it like it's a negative thing, mentally challenged. Say it with, say it with, look, don't, first of all, it's the documentary. So it's gotta look, it's gonna look real. It's my real life, boom, boom and shot. We're not hiding anything, I'm not, Gail's not, we're pretending that we're doing this, you know, secretly or something. Well, you've got to do. You have to. Do, you have to make that clear then. That it's going to be clear when they see the boom in the shot, Bill. Well, you have to make it clear that that was the intention then, because people. Okay. Yes, I, I, I will put a dis I will put. I will put at the end a disclaimer saying the boom is in the shot, and that was my will as a director, and it was my wish, and it was my hope, personally, that the boom would show and that Bill is exonerated from any unprofessional behavior because he's mentally challenged. You know, I mean, whatever you want. I'll put, I'll put any what I'm disclaimer you want. It just, there's no way. Boom in the shot. Yeah. That's great. Right. Right? Right. Like that? Well, look, look, Gail, pan down. Right. Now it looks like a documentary. It's great. This right? is how we'll shoot the rest of the movie then. Yeah, like right. Oh, don't worry about it. Listen, after this, you're going to get so much work, you're not going to know what to do with your mentally challenged self. Turn it over. Like, don't worry about anything. Somebody else will take care of it. Are we allowed to say anything else? Actually, no, because I haven't written anything else. Perhaps what if something like hit us? Yeah. Like, if it and occurred to us to say something some else, could we movie? try that? Take, that's, what I'm, that's the kind of thing I want to hear. You're taking chances. Yes, go ahead. Say something fresh and new and invent it. You yeah. didn't get to work on the scene, did you? No. Yeah. Okay, all right, call? so we'll make it up. That's great. Okay, so you 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 block I'll them. Follow, you know, we can actually. This is great because I don't really feel like blocking the actors. Oh well. You block them. Do. Yeah, you do. <coughs> I'm gonna sit down. It's okay. Are you sure? Uh, yeah. I don't want to, you know. No, 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 Mary. Just go ahead. Do it. It's yeah. fine. It's just like, they're just coming in the door. What do we care? They're Did just coming in the door. He's not mad. He's not mad. Sure. I know. He's an old friend. He is not mad, I promise you. Okay.
there was a creepy guy passing. Who was that? I don't know. Some sort of creepy guy in the, on the stairs. Mary. What's this? Do you guys know what this is? This is that guy, the lawyer. This guy, Winston, Winston Longleaf. It's like, I can't use any of the, like a cease and desist on any of the footage we shot. A restraining order, I can't go within like 100 yards of him. You know what really kills me? Is that this lawyer guy, he was great in the movie. He was great, he was good, he was playing. He was playing my, 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 not my uncle. You know the guy playing not my uncle? He was good, he was gonna be, he was a natural. That's Lothair. That's Lothair. Look. Lothair. It's me, Gerald. Lothair. 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 I think I could swear he wanted to say something to me. Don't you think? Did he want to say something? They are just people like me. They are just people like me. No idea what's going on. I, is it me or is he asleep right now? <laughs> he's asleep. You can wake up at some point, I suppose. Oh, I'm sorry. So we'll just sit here and wait. Are you married, Gerald? Do you have any relationship, a uh, permanent relationship? No. Have you ever? No. We have this really kind of nice idea, like, what if, you know, like there's this total loser person, which I'm starting to think is him, and every time, <laughs> oh my. so retarded because I feel so unconnected to this. But, Sid, what if you, every time you said you loved somebody, the other person said something like, you know, well, I don't love you, or I don't love you that way, or, you know, you're not whatever. You're just not whatever it is. But, like, is it possible? His whole premise was, is it possible in one day to meet somebody To meet somebody and to like feel something for real, without all the, um, you know. I'm setting up a flare with regard to your work. But I asked you about technical things before, and you said that everything was fine. That mistakes were great. Yeah, but then there's mistakes, and then there's mistakes, mistakes. Like there's mistakes that are part of life, and then there's mistakes that will make it impossible to really see. If they're going to interfere with the audience's appreciation of the true life documentary part, right? Like if it's one thing, if there's a, a, a boom is in the shot, that's great. But if I'm looking, if I'm looking at the images and it looks like you're shooting it through a pillow or through with Vaseline on the lens or something, it's going to be like, Ugh, uh, uh, uh. like how's your how's your vision? Can you see? Because I saw you yesterday. You were looking at the menu at the lunch and you were like this, the lunch like menu. You're like. I'm gonna have a. I'm gonna have a soup. Like, can you can you actually like? What what does this say? What does this say? It says fuck you. Are you saying that essentially everything I need is already inside me? What do you think? I think I need you to say I'm a good person. And why? Because I believe you. You're a doctor. You have authority. You're an expert. You have a degree. You, you would know. You would know. If you say it, I'll have something to hang my hat on. You know, I mean, it'll well, be I something. I have an interesting thought for you. Okay. Sure. Gerald, if I were to say the thing that you would like me to say, mm -hmm. let's suppose it has no effect on you, right? Okay. 
as I imagine it wouldn't, but who knows. Let's say there's a 50-50 chance that I'm going to say this and magically poof, wings will sprout and you'll be an angel and mm -hmm. you'll be very happy mm -hmm. forever and ever. Okay. That's 50-50. Well, that's the other 50 is I say the thing that you, you seem to be seeking from me, uh, which I suspect you're seeking everywhere you go, uh -huh. uh, whether it's directly or indirectly. Right? I mean, we all put out a little mat uh -huh. ahead of us that says, you know, I'm desperate for approval, and you can feel it. You can, mm -hmm. you know, if you have intuition, and I think we mostly do. Um, and I'm suggesting that I give this thing to you, and it doesn't do a, a thing. Now you what? you leave just as empty as you came in, and now you have decided that this thing that will work suddenly has nothing does no effect on you at all. I'd be a little afraid frankly. Because? Where do you go now? What do you do? Let's assume that. Where, where are you going now? What's your next issue? I was going to go get a coffee. You know what? I'm, I'm digesting everything you said, and uh, I, I don't understand it, but I, I, I'm digesting it. I, I, uh, well, I, there's right. something that Dr. Rasmussen and I used to do, cause I, and he, with every session, he, he, wanted me to, he wanted me to just stop talking. He would say, let's try this. You, don't say anything. Um, and, uh, and sometimes, you know, just a minute of silence, it was like a test. I don't know why he... So maybe, could we do that? Even though, Would you mind if we just didn't talk for a minute and saw what... just to see what came up? This idea for a scene, and I think I think this guy here will be perfect. Hey, hi. Hey, we're doing yes. a little, just doing a documentary about my life. I'm a director, and yeah, just you know, forget it. Pretend they're not there. Pretend they're not there. Pretend they're not there. Well, yeah, they are. <laughs> I'm Gerald. I'm Peter. Peter. Yes, nice to meet you. James. James. Some the direct. Uh, can, yeah, I'll have, a, I'll have what he's having. I need a, uh, a guy, uh, just a, you know, a guy to play uh, a hustler. Like a, like a pool hustler? Yeah, like, like a director goes out, midnight cowboy type thing, picks up a hustler, takes him back to a hotel no. room. Yeah, absolutely, under any circumstances. No. Money, nothing, nothing? No. Nothing. No? No. No. Like how much money? I'm your bitch. Peter, I'm your bitch. Bitch. I'm your bitch. Yeah. I'm your bitch. Yeah. I'm your bitch. Yeah. I am Peter's bitch. That's right. I'm Peter's bitch. So who's who's gonna see this? No one. What do you mean no one? Sorry, just Bill's looking like so miserable. Bill, mm. what's the problem now? Like you, you look like you. I'm looking. I'm trying to do the scene, and you look over, and you like you want to get out of here so bad. Well, how, how much more of this sort of thing are we supposed when to When you say this, when you mean this sort of thing, what do you mean? Oh, Christ. Bill's why, why, are we, why are we here? What, what, how does this f even fit in? It's like Bill, we're... Just, why don't you just say that you've got a little bit of discomfort around the, the, the gay, gay scenes. I guess I'm not comfortable with your lifestyle. You're picking these gay men up and... I'm not gay. <sighs> yeah, okay. See, the battle's over. I like that one because... I think it is. I think uh, all I do is keep creating new battles to make me feel like I'm in a battle when it's actually over. I'm just going to go through the invites to the rap party. You, you're looking at me as if I'm nuts. The rap party for the love story, not you, you, not your rap party. You don't get a you don't get a rap party. Thank you. Thank you very much.
I detect a little bit of a snippy tone there, Bill. Just because you don't get a rap party doesn't mean I don't care about you, even though I don't care about you. I'm caring about you less and less. Can you stop shooting? Because I need to have a word with Bill, because this is not working for me. Stop shooting. I just, Bill, this is not, it's like, <coughs> I'm just, every time I look over, you look like you want to commit Harry Carry. Like, like, this is the worst experience of your life. And that's not good for me. Because I need you crying. I need, I need emotion. I need. Mary. Mary. What are you doing on the phone? What is this? What are these? Mary, what did, does this mean? The, did you, did the Lloyd Foundation call? What does monkeys mean? I want to see you as soon as possible. Who wants to see me as soon as possible? What, what does six mean? Man, this could have been the, I could have. Mary, 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 Mary. I'm sorry, you know what? I got bad news. Here is your stuff. Mary, no, listen to me, listen to me. Stand up. Here's your thing, look. Things are not working out. Like, I mean, this is not good, man. I cannot have this kind of stuff going on because my life is already enough of a mess. Now just, goodbye. Somebody told me that I don't technically need receipts for anything under $25. Is that right? Well, I guess technically you don't need receipts. I don't, if I, so if I don't need receipts for anything under $25, right. why can't I submit a thousand of those kinds of non-receipts and claim $25,000? <laughs> but you're not, re you're not submitting receipts. You're just saying I have $25,000 worth of receipts under $25 that That's add right. up to $25,000. That's right. Won't that work? Uh, it wouldn't work for me, no. But, I mean, I don't need the actual... Theoretically, I guess it would work. You know, you could say, I've got like $10,000 worth of office supplies receipts. That are under $25. Right, which I don't have. Then. Which I don't have. Yeah. So can't you just do a letter saying, Gerald assured me that he had 1,000 receipts that were under $25? Can't you just say that, I, like I said it to you, and I looked you right in the eye, and you believed me? I wouldn't do that. What do you say? Lunch? Um, actually, 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 I gotta talk to Dan, so, um, whatever. I, I just need it for a second. But lunch for everybody else. Um, oh, can I borrow 40 bucks to pay for the crew lunch? Because I don't have any cash. What's the big deal? What's the big deal? Because you're not fucking paying me for this anyway. I'm doing you a favor doing this. And you you already owe me 150 bucks from the theater the other night, which you haven't given to me. Right? Right. So what? why am I going to give you $400? I come to work for you to do your favor and you want to borrow 400 fucking dollars to pay the sound man? Yeah. Forget it. No? No. Well, I don't know what I'm going to do because he's going to fucking kill me. I don't fuck what you do. I don't, I don't care what you do. I didn't want to make you mad. Well, you did. I mean, sometimes you cross the fucking line, Gerald. I mean, I... 
what, 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 what? what? And what you know, like, hey, I'm going to hire you as an actor. Do me a favor as an actor. And then I'm pay- all of a sudden I'm paying the crew? It's ridiculous. It wasn't. These are fucking problems, Gerald. What? What? What problems? Yeah. Is that what you're asking me? What problems? You're yeah. a bad fucking friend. You're a terrible fucking director. You have no idea what you're doing. And you're, you're like a, you're a bad person. Fuck it, I'm going to watch. I don't, maybe I'll see you. You shouldn't get this. Don't get this. This is so pathetic. Shit. Hello? Lloyd Foundation. Yes, yes, yes. This is me. This is Gerald. Yes. I have to come in to see you? Hey, Gerald. Hi, Gail. Who's this? Uh, that's John. He's my shooter. What do you mean, your shooter? Uh, he's shooting me. He's shooting you, shooting what? Shooting you. Why is there somebody shooting you? Well, I think, I mean, I'm shooting you. Why shouldn't someone be shooting me? Because where will it end? I mean, when, when, is somebody going to shoot John, shooting you, shooting me? Uh, that would be for John to decide, really. John, could you just turn that off? I work for Gail. Gail, I don't quite, I got to go in for these people. But I don't think this is going to, that's a good idea. Hi, Gerald Lequier. Uh, hello, hello, hello. Thank <laughs> It's the camera's out of here. No, 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 no. She can stay. No, there's two cameras, Gerald. This is too much. This is a private. This scene. one I have not given my permission for, uh, but uh, 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 this is for my personal use, so it's okay. All right, forget the cameras, Gerald. We are very upset. We have been calling you for two weeks. You have not returned any of the calls. We have some lawyer who is threatening to sue us, the Lloyd Foundation, because you have gone up to some stranger and accused him of sexually molesting you and put it on tape. He's never met you. Now he's suing you and us. And uh, this is just intolerable. And aside from all the legal ramifications, tell us, what have you been doing with the money exactly? What? Well, first of all, I got to say that the sexual abuse thing was your idea. I, it was your, I just did it because I wanted to fulfill your obligations. And today, I brought hard receipts. There you go. Oh, kinkos. I like kinkos. They're in order by date. Well, this is, out of, this is out of control. This is totally out of control. We asked for proper paperwork, backing up everything. That's on paper. This is kinkos. This is, where's the film stock bills? Where, uh, this is nothing. Well, well, well what, what have you spent the money on aside from kinkos? Anything? Yes. I, 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 I anticipated that very question, <laughs> and I brought... This gentleman and Miss Lloyd is a telephone. What's it for? Talking on the phone. Well, isn't that brilliant? Is it a prop for the film? No, no, no. That's what's so great about it. It's not a prop for the film either. It's and for my own life. So, so Can, you think we should be paying for an, an eccentric phone for you? I, it's, it's Listen. You also Ludicrous. requested tapes, and I don't we know didn't. quite why. Please pass them Why down. do you need the tapes? Well, for starters, for the lawsuit, and for number two, because we have paid for them and we want them. We, 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 we can't depend on you. Please send them down. And we're dealing with this stupid lawsuit. Organized well, I see. If you go from top to bottom, they're all in order. Well, fine. That's fine. We're happy to have the tapes, and, and Gerald... We have decided you can keep the grant. We just want to be rid of you. Please go. Please take your telephone. I like the phone. I'm going to take the phone. This no, no. No, no. Really? I want the phone. All right, let's go. 
Miss Lloyd, take the phone. It's and paid for by the Lloyd phone. Foundation. But uh, you may take your Kinko's receipts, if you like, and, and just go. You sure you want me to go? Yes, please go, Gerald. I, you want me to just leave? <sighs> Turning into the Meisner technique again. Yes, please go. Oh, and would you please also, before you go, give me the tapes and the cameras now. Yeah, absolutely. We paid for that, too. That's I don't know what else right. is on them. Please give us those tapes as well. Thank you. Thank you. No, no, don't put in another one. We don't. All right, if you go now, you can film the last 30 seconds, but just go. Goodbye. Lord. You know what? Can I have those tapes back? I just had an idea. No, no, so you're not. We need them no I would like the tapes back. No, you can, no, I want these back. This you is my life. This is my life. This is my life. This is my life. I'm taking. This is. Get him out of here. This is my life. All right, all right, right. Just go then. This go. is my life. All right, fine, fine. This is my life. You'll hear you can't have lawyers, this. But goodbye. If we just be a few minutes, we could just talk and and. Why not? It's not such a big... Re You're my therapist, for Christ's sake. You're supposed to see me when I ask. some uh, macaroni salad. That's good. Some butter. Where's your uh, cameraman? I had to get rid of him. It really wasn't a good idea. I had to feed him every day and he used to order the creme brulee and it was expensive. You know, I uh, just want to say I'm sorry because I didn't mean t to insinuate that your life wasn't worth recording, Gail. Do you know what I mean? I, sometimes I say things that I don't mean and I didn't mean to hurt you. And while we're at it, Bill, I'm really sorry if during this whole shoot I said things I didn't mean to say. You know, I really love you guys, you know that? I appreciate everything you're doing. <sighs> okay, Gail, we got to do this suicide scene. You're you're not gonna actually kill yourself, though. I might actually kill myself. Why not? Why 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 shouldn't I kill myself? You think I should continue living the kind of person I am? Wait a minute. Who's this? That's my son. That's your son? That's Jack. Jack? Yeah. What's Jack doing here? I didn't have a sitter. You don't have a sitter, so you bring your son? What, what was I supposed to do? I couldn't leave him. I can't do a suicide scene in front of a, like your kid. I can't say I'm a bad person and then throw myself off. Do you know what I'm beginning to realize? You know what, Gail? I am a bad person, aren't I? I'm a bad person. Don't you think I'm a bad person? Jack, don't you think I'm a bad person? You're a good person. You think I'm a good person? I think you're a good person. You think I'm a good person? I think you're a good person. You know something, Gail? This stuff is better than the love story I'm making. This, this doc, don't you think this documentary stuff is, do you think? This is your movie, isn't it? Jack, go wait downstairs. Gail? 
You got a great son. You got a great kid, you know that? Eight is when you when you make a list of people that you've harmed and you become willing to make amends to them all. Right? But and the most you know important what? thing about step eight yeah. is the willingness. These are uh, the list this is the people I gotta apologize to. Wait, I didn't. I, I just wanted to say that I'm sorry that I phoned your mother and I told her you were gay. I'm sorry that I, I'm sorry I phoned your mother and told her you were gay. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. I, it was not something that I thought of doing before I called her. It was just, you know, and I know that we haven't spoken since, but... Uh, I thought it went, you know, like, uh, I don't know, he seems like said, I guess. You know, I don't know what to... Uh, it can't always go, I mean, I... Well, I guess maybe, maybe we're not okay. Maybe that's all I need to do, you know? You know. Do you remember how we used to laugh about we shared three 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 as our answering phone security <laughs> thing? Yeah, same one. Well, when you were Regina, I was convinced you were seeing other people out there. So every night in the middle of the night, Regina time, I would I was checking your messages. You were an asshole then, and you're still an asshole now. So just really. I'm getting there. We're getting there. I remember when you were the art director of that film, yeah. and I forgot to include your name in the credits. Okay, no. I said I was sorry before, but I want to say I'm sorry again, because I feel it was very hurtful. I didn't do it on purpose, but I felt it yeah, was... Yeah, you didn't do it on purpose, so you don't need to apologize for that. I don't? No. Whenever I've needed something, you've been there. And I don't know that I've been there for you in the same way. Really? And so in a way, I need to apologize to you. You do? Yeah, I do. About what? Well, for, you know, for maybe not being as good a friend to you as you are to me. You're a good Aww. friend. You're a good friend. Enjoy, pal. You got me a present? I got you a present. He got me a nightlight, the Empire State Building nightlight. Thank you, Andrew. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's Mary. Mary. It's me, Gerald. I am so sorry for the way I treated you. I have not been able to stop thinking about you. I am so sorry for how I treated you. I miss you, and I didn't mean to do what I did. And I would love it if you came back to work with me. And I, Mary, I wanted to tell you something. I think that if, if you weren't you and I wasn't me, I, I know we'd be together. And I'm really sorry. Lothair, what are you doing here? We chatted. You fired her. She's my assistant. Mary is your assistant? Yeah. She makes me feel safe. You mean you were sitting here? Uh, right. We're in a meeting. I can understand why you would want to say you are a good person. But if you, for the sake of my life and my documentary, if you could kind of look in the camera. You don't even have to say, Gerald, you are a good person. You can say it out of order. You can say, person, Gerald, you are, and then turn to me and say, good. And I'll string it, to, I'll cut it together. If you're not comfortable putting those words, would you be willing to do that for me? If you just look, look in the camera and say, person, Gerald, are, it's interesting that you have this fixation. Is this something you ask all your doctors? And surely some what? of them must.
go along with this. Okay. Idea. When you say, ask me that again, but say, is this something you? Cheryl, if you really want to try to work this out, you can go back and you're going to find good the various words. Do, are you sure you said good? No. But I probably did. Say what? Cheryl. Why, Cheryl? Why? Because I need it. Why? I need it. You think, can, may, may we say, you think you need it? I don't even know if he's going to talk to me. But, uh, I think if I just say... He's, he's behind you. He's behind me? Danny. Danny, this may not make any sense to you. But uh, I want to tell you that I'm really, really, really sorry for what I did. Honest to God. Really. I, the problem, Gerald, is that I don't, know if you, I don't know if you're doing this for me or you're doing, that, doing this for... I am doing it for Gail. I'm doing it for you. I'm doing it for you. And I... Your friendship means a lot to me. It means more to me than this movie. It means more to me than the love movie. I don't I see. It's just fucking weird, Gerald, because I don't know if, like, you're leaning forward to get in the shot or you're leaning forward because you want, you're, like, trying to get... I was leaning forward. Do you understand the, pro the yes. inherent problem in this yes. situation? Yes. I won't lean forward, but I will... <laughs> I'm just going to tell you that I... I'm really sorry, Danny. I am a fuck-up. I fuck up sometimes. But I don't mean to hurt you, and I don't mean to exploit you, and I don't mean to... I don't wake up every day and go, okay, how can I hurt and ruin Dan's life? I don't do that. No, I'm aware of that. I, I don't. The I question, don't. Well, I guess the question is like, how much you thinking about, how much you're thinking about other people's lives at all? Not that you're plotting to ruin anybody's life. I will work on it. I'm going to work on that. I will work on putting other people. I will work on it. I will not. I won't. It won't happen again. Oh, this is 150 bucks. This is for the theater tickets. Take it. That's your square, right? Yeah. You sure? Yeah, I'm good. You're All good? Right. We're good? Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay? All right. I can go upstairs to get to the baby. All right. I gotta find 150 bucks somewhere. <laughs> no, you're not gonna lend it to me? Shit. I didn't think he was gonna actually keep it. You're All good, right. we're good? Okay. Alright. Okay? Alright, I can just go upstairs and get to the TV. Alright. Perfect.